welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I will be doing this pink smoky eye using my Venus palette. Um, and this is usually a look that I wear out in the afternoon. I'm going out on a date with my boyfriend or going out with my friends. Yeah, so keep watching if you're interested. I'm going to start off by prepping my lips for later on. Uh, so you, right now I'm using this glossy lip balm and actually I have it on right now as well as I'm doing the voiceover and I can already feel the mintiness all over my lips. And then next I'm going to go in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This foundation is a perfect everyday foundation. Um, I think it has a very natural finish and I love the way that it leaves my skin not too overwhelmed with color and it just makes my skin a little bit more even. Which is what usually I look for in the foundation. And this foundation actually looks really good if you use your fingers to blend it, but I am using a brush just for time's sake. And after this foundation, I'm going to use a concealer, and this one is actually a matte concealer. That way, I, um, I feel like it doesn't need setting, so it's easy maintenance when you use this one. And again, I... I it works better with a br uh, finger, but the brush is faster. And at this point, I'm actually going to start doing my highlight and I'm actually not a big highlight fanatic, so I usually go light on the highlight and I usually stick to the mirror luminizer. I feel like the skin gives off a natural highlight, especially when you wear dewy foundation, so. And if you can tell, I'm doing circular motions. Um, this is just to blend it out a little bit. That way it doesn't look chunky on my skin. Which is what happens when I use powders. And I'm just brightening anywhere that I think I need it. And I'm going to start filling in my eyebrows and I'm just using a uh, Morphe shadow that I have and I think this color is actually perfect for me. And I like my brows to look pretty straight so yeah, that's pretty much it with my brows. totally changes with eyebrows. And then next I'm going to go in with a bronzer and again I'm trying to keep it more on the natural side so I'll be using this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And this one just gives my skin a nice glow. It's not too orange, it's not too uh, ashy brown so I think it's perfect for my skin color. And I like using a bigger brush just because I don't mind the highlighter gets everywhere. I kind of like that look. A nice bronzy, sun-kissed look. And then I'm going to go in with my Glossier uh, blush in Puff. And this one I just... Uh, 
apples with my cheeks. And I use my fingers for this one. It's easier if you use your fingers. Otherwise, I find it to be a little bit patchy, especially with brushes. And it's easier to control if you use your fingers, so. And then if I see that I applied too much, I'll just go in with a brush and brush it off. And then this is actually what makes a big difference in the look, is curling your lashes. And then here I go in with my Venus palette, and I'm actually going to go in with the color Rebirth. And I'm not going to use any transitioning colors, I don't think it's necessary. This is a pink smoky look anyway, so you don't want to mud it up with a different color. Yeah, and then just blend it away, blend it around. Okay, all stuff to apply to the lower lash line. And then I'll grab the little highlight color in there and I'm gonna apply it to the center of the eyes, or to the inner corners of the eyes. And this is just to brighten up a little bit. Actually, I wish I wouldn't have used that color. I sort of hate it. It's so ashy on me. It's always go for it. It's always in the palette. And there we go. If you're my skin color, don't use that color if you don't think your looks good. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara, and this mascara is nice and simple, it's very black, and that's nice with my eyelashes, especially when I'm trying to do keep it natural. This is the perfect mascara for it. And then, of course, using my blade brow. And then I'm going to go in with my Generation 2 Lipstick in Jam, and I love this lipstick. This is definitely one of those stained lips look, and um, hmm, I like to keep this in my purse often, and just apply it whenever. And the more layers you add, the darker the look. There you go, I'm trying to layer it up a lot so it can be a little bit more darker. And then yeah, that's it. That's the look. If you guys like it, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye.